Okay, so first let's talk about the different stages that I have examples of. So this one's done. You guys have seen this one before. Uh, this one is a new one. So this is one that I have started the gluing process with. Obviously it's teeny tiny still, so I'm still gonna be adding to it. Um, but my goal is to get this example here to this stage by the end of the video so that you guys can see that process. Most of you guys have a spiral that looks a little bit like this. Might be a little bit bigger, might be a little bit smaller. Either way, that's okay. Um, once it gets to be about this size, you're gonna, you're gonna want to start gluing it into place. So the first step, I'm gonna take off his name here, is to temporarily tape it in place. This helps me a lot as I'm doing the glue so it's not sinking down on me. So I'm gonna push it into the shape that I want. Now when I put, I have to think about this, when I push it into that shape, I wanna make sure I have a bottom that's flat enough to where it sits in a stable way on the table. If it's rolling off to one side or it's tip tipping over constantly, um, then it's going to do that when it's in this stage. Nobody wants a bowl that sits like this. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't. So I get that all nice and stable. And once I have it in the shape that I want, he did his so nicely that it's staying in this shape. When I did this one, it kept falling apart. So some of you may not have to tape it in place. Um, I did, because mine kept slipping. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape across it. Doesn't matter if it's the inside or outside, just as long as it's kind of holding in place. You might need two pieces. You might need more than two pieces. Like I said, I don't think this one even needed the tape because he did it so, he wrapped it so tightly, it's holding its shape. Um, but some of you guys might need it. So I'll show you that. All right, now that I have it in the shape that I want, then I'm going to start sealing it with the Mod Podge. So um, as I do this, I'm going to coat the inside and the outside. And the Mod Podge is in these little containers up in the cabinets uh, behind the sinks. Now, here's the thing with this Mod Podge. I'm actually gonna get a piece of magazine or maybe even you could use this lid. And when I'm done, I'm gonna lay it down on the lid or the piece of magazine instead of on the table. That's gonna save me a little bit of time later when I have to clean up my table. I start with a small amount, not a huge big glob and I gently coat both the inside and the outside. Right now I'm going over the piece of temporary tape and I'll talk about what to do with that in just a second. So I'm just gently painting on the Mod Podge. I'll show you what that process looks like when it's done. Okay, so when I paint it, I try and get the brush down into the crevices. So I might have to dab a little bit on the outside and the inside. But this is basically what it looks like once I have the, that coat on there. And you can see, you can already tell it's starting to hold its shape a little bit better. I'm still not going to take off this tape though until probably the next day. Once the glue has had a chance to dry completely, I can take it off and then paint where the tape was at. Now, I do want to peel the tape up just on um, some spots though, because my job for the rest of class is to keep adding onto my bowl. And now I can really think about where I'm going to place my next magazine strip and what kind of shape that's going to help me create. So I peel this back, and now I'm going to take this guy, tape it in place just like I usually did and add it onto my bowl. And then once I have it on the bowl and taped in place, I'm gonna take some more glue and seal over it again. And then that way I kind of build, build my shape from this point as I go. I get to make those decisions um, a little more carefully at this point. Now, cleaning up. If you're like me, you probably got a little bit of glue on the table. Um, Please make sure you go to seat three over here 
grab a rag at the end of class, really squeeze that rag out, and wipe down your table wherever those glue spots are. This glue is a pain to get up if it dries, but it's fairly easy to get off the table when it's wet. Now, brushes. Brushes are surprisingly expensive, so please make sure that at the end of class, you also clean these out really nicely. So when you clean them out, kind of take the brush and rub it in between your fingers or swirl it around on the palm of your hand. That's going to make sure that all the glue that's stuck inside those bristles gets out. Once you're done, I just dab it on the towels and it should be completely clean. Maybe even cleaner than it was when you picked it up. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget that when you put it in this container, it needs to go brush side up. That way the bristles stay nice and neat and they're easy to paint with later on. This, the lid goes on it nice and tight. We don't want that glue uh, drying out. And again, it goes on the cabinets behind me here in the video. Have fun.